Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about acceleration. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, how can I accelerate me becoming a senior developer? And I think this is a great question. The short answer is that you need to collaborate with senior developers. Go figure, right? So basically what you need is that you need to sit and work with seniors. If you are a junior developer, I will say to you now, right here, right now on this little hobby channel of mine, that this is the most important thing that you could possibly give yourself as a software developer. If you have an ambition of actually becoming all that you can be within your career, I will say that this is the thing that will dictate if you make it into becoming a senior developer in five years or in 20 years, it is the most important thing. I cannot stress that enough. The learnings that you will get from working with true senior developers is going to outpace how fast you get there on your own, at least a hundredfold. It's at the, the differences are enormous. It's actually so important that I would argue that if you get the opportunity, as especially as a junior developer, but even in some cases I would say as a mid-level developer, to work with true seniors, with people that you know, that these people, they really know their stuff. And if you get the ability to actually sit next to them or work close to them and have just access to their knowledge and they're open to actually share their internal work processes with you and so forth, then you should jump on that immediately. I will even go, go so far as to say that it is more important for you to do this sort of thing than it is to get a higher salary. That's how important it is. You see, the reason why this is so important is very simple. Because in the time that you sit by yourself and you work and you actually acquire information and knowledge and you actually enhance your own skills as a software developer, you will get to a certain point. Now imagine if I were to give you a fairly decent salary for that. Let's say that I pay you fairly well for that. Now you will be in a bracket of, payment, of pay during that period of time. And as you progress, it becomes kind of like this meter that you fill up until you need to reach the next well-paid bracket. Because nobody, if, you, if your skills are not on par, this is something that I'm very sorry to say that the internet has gotten really, really, really fucking wrong. And that is that just because you switch jobs or just because you pick the right company, you're just gonna go into the next payment bracket where you pay, you're paid like on average quite a lot more just because you know how to code. This is not true, guys. Nobody's gonna pay a junior developer a senior level salary if they can avoid it. So in other words, unless you actually have the skills that matches a senior developer, then you're never going to see that sort of ma sort of money, right? So within that pay first payment bracket, you're going to progress. Now, if you decide that you're going to get a job where you get to be on the higher end of that payment bracket, but you still work as an island or you work in isolation, you m might work as a consultant, which was the case that like, that's my personal story, but we were going to touch on that as well then yeah, sure, During yeah, you're going to be on the high earning end of that payment bracket for all the time, like during the time that you're working there. However, you're going to progress skill-wise much, much slower. In other words, you're going to stay at that payment bracket for longer. Now, think about that for a moment. It's very similar to fitness levels and things of this nature. You can absolutely work out with very, very, very low weights, but if your goal is to get as strong as possible, you need a different setup because you're basically just going to increase at a fairly low pace and stay at about the same level, even though you might like that level in the beginning. But if you want to progress to the point where you're actually doing some really serious stuff, then you need a different strategy. And that is what a senior will give you if you have a, a work environment where you have access to these people. I will tell you that I personally believe that the best thing a junior should, should, should be, like, if you can achieve this, this is the best thing for you. 
try to find a work environment where you have very senior staff, people who have been working for years and years and years. Try to find yourself in a situation where they actually enjoy talking to you, you're sociable or things of this nature, where they actually feel like, you know, talking to this person is kind of nice. And then just hear them out, observe them, shadow them, try to get them to give you feedback on your code and try to do all, I mean, don't, you know, don't, don't get creepy about it or anything like that, but try to get an intimate relation, relationship with these people so that you can listen and learn from their experiences. Even if you may not always agree with them, even if sometimes it feels annoying, try to suck all of that information in because this is the thing that makes them a senior and you a junior. So I can only swear by this because I did this myself. I had an opportunity a few years back where when I was starting out my career where basically I was offered an enormous, like just ludicrous amount of money as a consultant. But I was at a junior, junior stage in my career. And then I got an offer from a company that paid me a fraction of that money but it was a real IT company, it was one of the biggest companies in the world and I knew after talking to them that the people working in that environment were senior developers, pretty much all of them. See, not just senior developers, they were senior testers, senior QA, uh, QAs, they had, C, like they had senior, of course, programmers, they had senior tech leads, all of them. There was like, I would pretty much be the only senior, the only junior in a entire company or uh, at least two teams of extremely serious senior experiences. I didn't even have to think about it guys. I took that job immediately and today I can pretty much say that it was the best career choice of so far I've ever made. It was it, it, it has dictated so many things for me. To, like, just to give you an example, today I find myself in a situation where people who have studied for, a, who have been working for either actually the same amount of time that I have or quite a few years more, like we're talking about a difference of maybe 10 years. Well, these people are still at the mid-level programming, uh, programming level within the company that we find ourselves working in and I am at a tech lead, almost at the, I am up for a promotion to a CTO level within just a few months. So as you can imagine, like the, the differences are ludicrous. So what I want you to take away from this is that if you want to accelerate you becoming a senior, you need to talk to other seniors. You need to shadow them, you need to talk, like just get their thought processes, get their feedback, learn from their life lessons, get them to mentor you, do all of these things. If at all possible, find yourself a job where you get to work with real seniors. It is more valuable to you than money because by the time that you have exhausted that vast pool of knowledge, you will have sprinted up way past all the juniors who took a fairly well paid job in an environment where they move at a fraction of your speed. And if you really want to out earn them, you just wait until you actually have gotten to a point where you're actually at a much higher level and then you're basically gonna out earn them in terms of money in, in what, like a few years. Because at the higher payment brackets, we're talking about quite a lot of more money than any junior, even a well paid junior is going to earn from just staying a beginner. So really think about that. It's short-term thinking to go for the quick money when you have just a few years of experience. So go for education, go for acquiring high quality, high and in-demand skills, because these things will out-earn all those small little paychecks that you're gonna get in the beginning. Have a great day.